In this question, we are given information about a man who is travelling in a lift. We're asked first of all to draw a diagram showing all the external forces acting on the man on the lift. Okay, so I've just put that down for us. Uh, the first thing is, we obviously we've got the, I would draw the lift, and we would put the tension in the cable pulling the lift, and the mass of the lift, hence the 750G. We we'll then put the man inside the lift, so his weight is 65G acting down the way, and also they add in the natural reaction. In part two then we're told that we want to work out the tension of the cable when the lift is accelerating upwards. So I'm focusing on the external forces of the lift. So we're accelerating up and we are dynamic because it's moving up with an acceleration. So using Newton's second law we can work out the resultant force which is T minus 815 G coming from the mass of the lift of the man and that equals the mass times acceleration. From here we can solve and work out the tension. And make sure we record our answer to three significant figures and in Newtons. In part three, this time we are asked to work out the reac reaction between the floor of the lift and the man when the lift is accelerating downwards. So I'm focusing on just uh, the man on the lift this time. Again the resultant force this time will be 65g minus r and again that equals the mass times acceleration. Solving to find r, just be careful, but the answer comes out as 625.3 and I want to make sure that I give my answer to three significant figures as illustrated.